supporters were outstanding. They turned up in the, the thousands tonight again after Plymouth travelling. We knew Wickham would start well. They've got such a strong home record. The Garrett's done an outstanding job here. They put you under immense pressure. I think after going a goal down, I probably think the majority of the fans in the stadium, everyone thinks we're about to go under. And it's probably our biggest test and we stood up to that test in an absolute huge way. It was an outstanding performance from all the players involved. I'm so pleased for them, so pleased for the supporters. We travel home, we lick our wounds and we go again. At what point did the momentum shift? We, we, you've got to, we, at the minute, we're just making dis, moments in games that we just, you couldn't make up. Mm. The goal at before half time at Plymouth on Saturday just changes the whole outcome. And today the moments go our way. Yeah. We're kicking into the Ipswich fans, we have to score. Their, their feverish enthusiasm will carry us home. They suck the ball in. We can't disappoint them by giving stupid goals away. And when we needed Christian to make a big save, he made an outstanding save. And I'm delighted for the players tonight, I really am. So professional in the second half. We just played well. You know, that's from Portsmouth now to here. Two, four goals, two good wins. So disappointed to lose at Plymouth. Like I say to everyone, people get so low after the defeat, so high after the win. Just keep going. The season is so long, there's so many games to play. And we're showing signs of being OK. How pleased are you with the attitude as well, Paul? You see Bassant come in, doesn't start on Saturday, starts tonight and wow. Listen, the team, there's, there's a real good spirit about these lads, the new, use around the training ground, they're, they're really a good bunch of, of young lads who come together. Tonight we knew we'd come under pressure second half as well. We had to the sale at Edmonton Burgess, we lost Coulson, you know, we stuck with it. You can make excuses for as long as you want. Everyone wants to see the team performing. I think after going one down, our fans give the players an amazing ovation going off at half-time and that spoke volumes for their performance in the first half. Second half was just the icing on the key. Fingers crossed for Hayden, it looked like a tough one. I, we just, you know, it is what it is, so we, we, we're disappointed for Hayden. You know, we just keep ploughing forward, we've got so much, so much to look forward. We've got a great cup tie at Portman Road on Saturday. You know, our fans tonight, wow. You know, on the bench, we're all talking about them. The players are talking about them. And, you know, they're the big nights for you. Travel home, the ones who went to Plymouth and here to, to, to Saturday and tonight. There's two totally different journeys, isn't it? That's what supporting your team's about. I'm so happy for them tonight. You love sending them home happy, don't you? Love, yeah, I don't like sending them home like we did from Plymouth, <laughs> that's for sure. I don't like answering my phone or come out of bed on a Sunday. But listen, that's what football's about. And, you know, for us as a club, you know, we've, we've done so much this summer. Everything's new and all of a sudden the season's settling now. The dust settling and teams are starting to cajole into positions where they want to be. And that's what we want to do. We want to get up this league table. Thank you, Paul. All the best, lads.